I saw this one at shopping and I thought I'd give it a try because I've not seen um, the one that has this, the barista style one. So I'm going to put it in my milk frother and see if it, if it actually froths up because my milk frother, I've had it for a while now, um, it's only like a, um, like a cheapy one from Aldi and it's really hit and miss. Sometimes it froths it, sometimes it doesn't. So I'm tempted to maybe put the Nespresso milk frother on my, um, my birthday or Christmas list this year. But anyway, let's try this and see how it comes out. Happy days, it has worked, it's throffed up really nicely. So let's hope that it continues to do that because I have done that before and it's worked on the first go and then the second go, it hasn't worked. Um, I'm gonna put some of this, which is vanilla and ginger syrup in as well. And I'm gonna go and sit down, read a little bit of my book before I need to do some housework. So, um, but let me know if you've tried this. So this is from the, um, this is from Aldi. They had coconut there, they had almond, they had soya. I really don't like soya milk. I'd rather drink um, coffee without milk. Um, really don't like the soya milk. Um, but yeah, really happy with that. You were yawning earlier, weren't you? <laughs> We are back from the shops. I had to pop into town because I needed to pick um, an order up from Accessorize, so I've picked that up. I will open that up and share that with you um, in a bit. But I just wanted to show you what I picked up. So I actually picked these two bath soaks up the other day, but I forgot to share it on my previous vlog um, because I was recommending the Vitamin E Facial Serum, which is really, really good. And I also have their Hot Cloth Cleanser, which I share with my um, eldest daughter, and she loves it as well. It's really lovely. But I picked this range, sorry, not this range. Um, I picked these products Mom, up. Mommy, blow dry here. Okay, in a bit then. Um, I picked these up because I read a really good review about them and um, Jessie has really dry skin, really dry skin. And we use the, is it Aveno range? Aveno, Aveno, and um, which is a really good range, but this came up really recommended. And um, she had a little bit of the almond oil um, version in the her bath the other day and um it's not an it's not a bath oil though um so um and it it just creates a nice a nice amount of bubbles without it being too much but um her skin genuinely felt softer um so really recommend this one we haven't tried this one yet i quite fancy trying this one um but i went in to get this now they do have big tubs um, of 
the body cream but i wanted the pump because i just find it easier to apply um rather than scoop your hand in the cream um so i'm gonna see how she gets on with this um because at the minute we are using let me go and grab what we're using at the minute we're using this one at the minute um the we did just finish a tube of the other version of this which is dry to very dry and i think it has um i think it's blue i think it has like a blue lid and this section here is blue um but i thought i would just give this a go because this is one liter and um i mean this is easier to travel with i, I get that it was on offer um i think it had a couple of pound off normally it's 9.99 and i think yeah i think it was 7.99 and yeah they had two pound off it was normally 9.99 so i'll let you know how we get on with that i wanted to pop into wilco because all their seeds are out now and they we we walked into town um but i'm gonna pop back again tomorrow because they have 30 percent off their greenhouses and they've got a really good good size um greenhouse in there um obviously not a glass greenhouse um we don't have the space in the garden for a glass one this is just like one of those ones that you can pop up and make up yourself but um it was 50 down to i think it was 30 30 or 35 anyway really good value and they only had a few left so we're going to go back tomorrow and pick it up but there was no way we could carry it home with us but anyway i picked up these i'm going to have a go at um seeing if i can grow some peas this year i've never tried growing peas so let me know if you have um Jessie saw these ones and thought they looked really fun, so we put, picked them up. And we picked these up, these radishes. I'm not really a fan of radishes, but I'm going to give them, I'm going to try them again. And the fact that these are different, um, they are like a, a rainbow version. So we'll try them. And this is a new one. So I've, I've tried quite a few different tomatoes, uh, different varieties over the years growing them. So I thought I'd try this one um, and for 75 pence, so it was really good. So we've got that one there. Jessie picked this variety, the cherry, the red cherry tomatoes. And I also got the Gardener's Delight. Um, I have had this variety before. A friend sent me some seeds and um, they were lovely, really delicious. We are going to attempt to grow pumpkins this year. So we got pumpkin we got the big max ones and we've got the jack-o-lantern variety so we'll see how we get on if anyone's got any advice or if you've ever grown pumpkins please share some advice with me because we've never grown them i forgot to pick up some sweet pea seeds um but like i say i'm going back in tomorrow um and the chances are every time i pop in town now i'll probably pick up some seeds because the price is so good um, so I picked up some more Cosmos. I love growing these. Um, I've got the Gazebo Whites and I've gone for a Sensation Mixed. So um, looking forward to getting them in the garden again this year. Let me know if you've started buying any seeds or what you enjoy growing. Um, um, yeah, it'd be lovely, it'd be lovely to... Um, to see what you're growing and if there's anything that you recommend we have a go at growing this year please let me know i just remembered i didn't show you what was in my order that i picked up so i got both of these and i got them in the sale actually i've got this one here which i thought was absolutely beautiful with the embroidery the sequins and i got it um for my holiday and it was originally £16 and I got it for £4.80 which I thought was really good value because it is really lovely. It's all lined and it's really pretty on. It's lovely so I thought that would be really nice for the summer. And then secondly, you'll laugh, I got this one. It was originally £8 and I paid £2.80 for it. It is a really lovely velvet red headband and i've got it because i thought of christmas <laughs> nothing like being organized so i'm gonna pack it away so please remind me 
come November time that I have a headband that I'd bought for Christmas. I just thought it looked really pretty and it's really lovely and soft. And I remember wearing these when I was um, younger. So I thought for that price, I thought I'd pick that up as well. So very happy with both of them. We popped back into Wilco's early this morning and picked up the greenhouse. Thankfully, they still had a few there. I was a little bit worried <laughs> that they would have sold out because of the offer being so good. So happy that I um, that I was able to get one and picked up some sweet peas. I've got three different varieties to grow this year. I have another book haul for you. I, <laughs> yeah, I do need to stop now, I think. I think sometimes when you get like a bit of a bug for something and there were a couple of charity shops which I've not visited in a very long time and also my eldest daughter wanted to look in a couple of charity shops for um, some like clothes, um, like a particular style of clothes that she was looking for and um there was one particular charity shop which I know has lots of books in and um, so we both came away with good purchases really happy so the top three and I got all of these all of these books so nine books in total for three pound which is just ridiculous is it not two of them are hardback so it didn't matter if um so the first charity shop we went in, it didn't matter if they were hardback or paperback. It was just basically three books for one pound. So I got The Maid, which is on my to reads list. I got The Appeal by Janice Hallett and I picked up the Twyford. Oh, what's that called? I've got her. Oh, I've got one of her books that I picked up the other week from the charity shop. Anyway, it's called the Twyford something. Um, American Dad, that's been out for a while. Um, the Luminaires. Um, no, the Luminaries. The Luminaries. I love that cover. Um, Charles Dickens, Great Expectations. And then, because it was three for a pound, I only had five and then I, was, I couldn't decide on what book to get. I was just, there was nothing really jumping out at me. And then Isabel picked this one up. She'd read the back of it and she said, oh, mum, I think you'd really like it, bless her. So I said um, that I'd go with go with that one, seeing as she'd picked it. And then the second charity shop we went in, again, it was still the same. The three paperbacks um, for um, one pound, but I think the hardback books um went within that price but anyway i got this version of pride and prejudice because it was such a lovely cover um and i got the i now i think i've watched this on the telly but i don't think i've read the book or maybe it's not till i've got home now that i've thought about it and i think i've either read it listened to it and i but i definitely have watched it um which is The Miniaturist um, by Jessie Burton. And then this one here by Harriet Twice. Um, Twice? Twice. Um, I wanted to get this one because I loved Blood Orange. And I think this was... I think this was her first book. I think. I can't remember now. But anyway, got that one as well. Um, I'll just show you the front covers of these. Sadly, it's got a little mark there where it's, it looks like something's been stuck on it and it's been peeled off. But I thought I could just colour that in green, but I just thought it looked so beautiful. And it reminded me of um, Saltram. I really loved this cover. This is a chunk of a book. I didn't know about it being a TV series. Did you know that? Did anybody know that? It's bugging me now what the other book was called, which I think is our newest book, which I picked up because um, 
I saw it in the works the other day for six pounds and I think I managed to get my copy for 75 pence and that's the maid so let me know if you have read any of these or if any of these are on your to reads list I'd love to know It was The Twyford Code, which is her second book. And obviously the appeal is what I um, picked up today. So um, I don't think you've got to read them in a particular order. I don't think. Um, I think they're standalone stories. Um, but this, this one... Um, isn't her newest one. Um, I remembered when I looked on here that actually this has literally come out recently in the mysterious case of the Alberton Angels, which is also on my um, to reads list. But I think my library has a copy of that, so I can always um, check with them. I really need to sort out these, um, these bookshelves because as I've been popping to the charity shop, and um, buying the books, I've literally been just um, putting them on the shelf. This is all like deep, two rows deep, and then I'm having to start another another section where I've got more here. So I need to have a little tidy up and sort them out because I'd like to be able to put um, the books together um, with the authors. So. Um, yeah, group them together by author rather than um, just having them mixed in. I don't mind them mixed in, but it's nice to have the um, them together if they're um, if I've got a few by the same author, it'd be nice. Um, yeah, 